Hi guys and welcome to another Mr. Vapor video. So today I'm going to attempt to do a smoke ring tutorial or with vapor in my case. So I kind of taught myself to do it with a bit of help from some tutorials but when I did exactly what people said in the tutorials I tended to find that it didn't work so I'm going to try and show you slightly differently and hope that I can help some people learn. I can't guarantee it. So there's a couple of things that you need to get down to be able to do the vaporing. So the most obvious and easy one is having your mouth in a circular shape. So you need to push your lips out forward and in a small circle, not too big because it's harder to do bigger ones. So start off by just going like this. So that's the shape that you need. Not particularly complicated, that part's easy. So the key is the type of breathing because you need to be able to let the vapor out in short, sharp bursts. But as I say short, sharp bursts, you mustn't push the vapor out. If you blow, try and blow the vapor out, it will come out too hard and it won't work. It will just make roughly circular clouds because it's coming out all in one go because you're putting force on it. So the other thing that can happen is if you inhale too much smoke or vapor, then you'll struggle to do rings because the more that's in your throat, the harder it is to regulate it and let it out in short, sharp bursts. So you need to get just the right amount. It's easier with e shisha or vapor of some kind rather than smoke because obviously smoke is harsh on your throat, whereas vapor isn't, which allows you to control it easier without it making you cough. So I'm going to try and demonstrate now. Um, one bit of advice I heard in someone else's tutorial, which I found quite helpful, is even though it's going to make you look really stupid, you need to act like you're choking. So you basically have your um, mouth in that circular formation I just showed you, and then act like you've got something stuck in your throat and you're trying to breathe. So I'll do that now, make myself look like a twat. Um, So that's what it is. It makes it look like you're being strangled by someone, but that's the type of release of air that you need. So you're not, you're not kind of, that's what you don't do. A lot of people might be trying to do smoke rings doing that. You don't blow with your mouth. It's what you need to do is cough with the back of your throat. And instead of blowing the vapor or smoke out, you need to let it glide out of your mouth like this. that wasn't perfect half of the time it didn't work half the time it did even people who are quite experienced often can't do it perfectly um, because it's really really hard to get that perfect regulation of the vapor coming out it's not something that our lungs are exactly designed to be able to do but the key of course is the very light gentle coughing in the back of your throat the vapor resting in your mouth rather than your throat and then just letting it out slowly so hopefully you could see it in between me blowing the rings. You can see it kind of floating just inside the circle of my mouth. And then it's just a case of instead of blowing it or opening your mouth and letting it out, you kind of create a seal kind of with your muscle in your mouth. And then you kind of let the tiny jets of air push it out and that forms the circle. So it's an art, because if you have too much vapor in your mouth, it doesn't work. If you don't have enough, it doesn't work. If you blow too hard, it doesn't work. And if you blow too gentle, it doesn't work. So you basically just have to practice until 
you get the art just right. So the only tips I can give that are followable is don't blow. If you blow, it doesn't work. I'll show you what happens if you try and blow it. So if you blow, absolutely nothing happens. It just blows out clouds of smoke. So instead of pushing the vapor out from here, push the vapor out from here. Feel that it'll feel the little blast of air coming from the back of your throat. That was crap. Um, <laughs> so sometimes if you have too much vapor in your mouth at the beginning, you need to do what I do and let a bit out so that you have a more controllable amount. But then I think I let too much out because I then failed at the end as well. But hopefully you get the rough picture. So it's all about the cough of air at the back of the throat, the circular mouth, and then just the right amount of force. That's not very helpful. I wish I could be more helpful than that. I'm trying to think of a easier way to describe it, but I'm not exactly sure if it is an easy way of describing it. Um, so hopefully that might help. Um, wishful thinking. I don't think that was very helpful. If there's anything you can think of that might be more helpful or anything you want me to show you, then feel free to comment about it. Um, if that did help you in any way, then also feel free to comment. I'd like to know if that actually helped anyone in any way. Okay, so on that note, I will end the video. Uh, I hope that helps some of you, and please tune in to future Mr. Vapor videos and reviews.